Hey, good morning guys. What's going on? I got something pretty cool today. It is the T55 hot plate. This is a little 55 millimeter square um, heating plate that gets up to 280 degrees Celsius. You've got a little OLED screen here in the front. You've got a USB-C jack in the back and two switches and that's about it. So if you look here, you can see we have the heating element on top, obviously, where the two wires are going to. And then we have another plate that it's mounted to down here. And this is very similar to the way um, they do the hot end in a 3D printer. This is an aluminum radiator, a heat sink, basically, or a heat break to keep the high heat here from coming down into the electronics, which are down here. Now, this uh, heating unit here by itself is available for $25 or $25.99, so $26 plus, of course, you know, your shipping, tax, any import duties. Um, the one that Secure sent me comes with a 65 watt dual USB uh, C quick charge 3 and a USB C power delivery here. So, there you can get an idea of what the voltages are. I was uh, curious that this is 65 watt and uh, this is rated for 95 watts. Also included in the package is an interesting little USB-C cord. You know, focus. There we go. Has a couple chips and an LED. Interesting. So, of course, this plugs into here. This plugs into here. And this plugs into here. And now, as you can see, You could if I hadn't just screwed that up. There we go. Come on. Zoom. There we go. Now we're zoomed in. There is our information. It, the plate is currently at 28 degrees C. It is in stop mode. It is receiving 19.5 volts. It is at temperature 1. And it hasn't been turned on. So, <clears throat> the two buttons in the back. If I click them both together quickly. Whoops, wrong button. So there's temperature one, temperature two, temperature three. If I click and hold the leftmost button, we're now going to work mode. And if you see that little white bar, that is our heat progress. I'm going to turn this off because I don't want it to get hot yet. <laughs> now, if I press and hold both buttons at the same time in the back, Come on. Huh. Try again. Press and hold both buttons at the same time. What is going on? Ah, my bad. It is press and hold the rightmost button. And this takes you through our little uh, menu. We have temp, OLED, other, and about. So if I click about, whoops, <laughs> you can see we have power delivery 20 volts, 65 watt, input max 25 watts. And this should just kind of go off on its own in a second here. All right, we're back again, and here is, whoops. Our OLED menu we have brightness language English timer show on screen open go back in we have our other menu which has buzzer 
or heat timer, which will how long it will it'll stay on until it automatically shuts off. Power level, low voltage cutoff, factory settings. You get the idea. Our final menu is the temp menu, where we can have our three different temps. And as you can see, I have them all set up. So we'll let this thing get ready, and I'm going to go ahead and heat it up. All right, let's change the camera angle here. So this is currently heating up. You can see the, the screen cooking up. So where can you use this? What is it useful for? Why do I want one? Why do you want one? Well, you know me. I do not like surface mount soldering stuff. Most of the stuff here is through hole, but check it like this. This, uh, what is it? Two, two, five, nine, six voltage regulator here. You see how it has been soldered down to the thermal pad underneath of it for heat dissipation. Well, you can easily unsolder those, but how are you going to get that off? Well, that's where something like this comes into use. Very cool. So we'll let it get up the temp and I'll show you how it works. So it's been heating up for about 30 seconds or so and we've reached 231 C. What I'm guessing is going on here is the PID, the, uh, the PID calculation is going on. The peripheral integra integrative, um, pr proportional integrative, Integral derivative. I always have trouble remembering those words. So what it is doing, um, it's PWMs, obviously. So all it is doing is sending pulses on, off, on, off, on, off. And each pulse puts a little bit of heat into this plate. And we're going to crank it up to, you know, 280C. What the, the PID loop does is it looks for errors in overshooting or undershooting. And over time, it is able to decrease those errors by adjusting those three parameters until you can get very close to what you need. So once this reaches 280 degrees, we're going to put our little uh, board on there and we're going to remove that chip. All right, it's been about two minutes and we're just creeping up on uh, 250 degrees. This does not seem to be getting very hot. It's almost like it's stuck there. I will, uh, I'll just let it keep going for a while. We are at, uh, just over five minutes. We've reached 263. Not that fast in heating up, so we'll let it keep cooking. There is that um, that weird USB cable with the chip and the LED. We'll have to have a uh, closer look at that in a minute. 266. Not very fast in the heat up. I mean, it really doesn't matter if you're working on something. You know, you just turn this thing on when you get started working and let it creep up. So, we'll let it keep going. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Oh, look at that. Get this inductor off. Yeah, oh, very nice. My, uh, my tweezers aren't quite big enough for the inductor. Oh, that's warm. Here's a diode. And now let's see if we can get off the big chip. <laughs> the whole reason we're here. Yes. Look at that. Look how nice and easy that came off. That is beautiful. Wow. 
Yeah, that's warm. I wonder if it'll melt regular solder. Hang on. Yeah, it's not hot enough to melt regular. Oh, well, yeah. It is kind of. But not really. <laughs> it's always going to fall off the end. Bloop. All right. So we're back down to a more normal resting temperature of 42C. Now it's not going to kill you. Um, when this thing's up to temperature, it will probably just take your skin right off. So if you have children around, you don't want to leave this energized where they could end up getting burnt. Well, you saw the solder roll off the aluminum heat plate, but the, uh, the flux did not want to leave. So I have some 91% rubbing alcohol, as we call it here in the Midwest, in the United States, isopropyl, isopropanol, IPA, call it whatever you like, but that should remove that flux pretty easily. Unplug that. Huh. One moment. Alright, now I scrubbed the ever-loving crap out of it. And it, you can see, if you look edge on, it is clean and shiny, but it has kind of stained that a little bit, which is disappointing perhaps if you buy one of these you could you know like this get some Kapton tape put a nice piece of Kapton tape over that it will let the heat pass through and protect your aluminum covering yeah you can see little scratches there I even tried a uh, very soft brass brush but it's stained I mean there's there's no residue but it is stained not that that makes a difference in the overall thing of things, because I think this is just a super cool little hot plate. I mean, you watched me just sit this module on here, and literally, that's it. And these pieces just fell off. How cool is that, right? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.